Should you be taking MCT oil for brain health? MCT stands for medium chain triglycerides. It's made up of medium chain fatty acids, which are fat molecules that have between six and 12 carbon molecules. MCTs are found in coconut and palm oil, human breast milk, and a bit in cow and goat milk. And they're more easily absorbed and don't require bile or the pancreatic enzymes to be digested. So they're transported right into the liver to be used as an immediate source of energy. MCT oil as a product is a manufactured form of saturated fat that's made by processing palm oil or coconut oil through a process called fractionation. In the body, briefly, MCTs are converted to ketone bodies. Now it's quite popularly advertised as a source of alternative energy for the brain, but as far as its link with brain health is concerned, overall the evidence is quite limited to short studies with small sample sizes, so more research is needed. The strongest data we have on the benefits of MCT oil for memory in cognitively healthy participants comes from four small studies, each of which tested MCT oil in small groups of people for no more than three months, and the number of participants were between 19 to 63 in these studies. And the improvement was only seen in working memory, not for any other cognitive domains like visual memory, processing, problem solving, etc. And there were so many inconsistencies. First of all, they used different tools for assessing memory function. Second, MCT dose, the composition, and the treatment duration differed between these studies. So that introduces a lot of confounding factors. And there were some concerns about the process of randomization and missing data for one of the larger studies. The strongest data we have on the benefits of MCT oil for memory in dementia patients comes from a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled study of six months duration on 20 dementia patients with an average age of 73 years, where they were given 42 grams of MCT oil every day and the controls were given olive oil. Out of the 20, four of them got worse, which means there was a decline in their mini mental status exam. And for the rest, they reported some stability or improvement, which means that they either did not decline as fast as they were expected to, or they showed some improvement, but they had to be older than 73 years of age to see any benefit. Again, very weak data. My point is, this is not compelling data where we'd say, that's it, we all need to be on MCT oil. And we don't know how it impacts blood lipid levels and cardiovascular health in the long run. So it can't be assumed to be entirely safe. It is possible that it could be helpful, but until we have good quality, larger randomized controlled trials conducted over a longer period of time with standardized and robust neuropsychological assessment in the right population, we don't recommend taking it.